Hey guys, so I know some of you have been wondering where baby Lily is and she's been here. She's just been hanging out, but um, baby Lily is a very special baby and I kind of, well, I guess I blame Chris for all my problems, but um, yeah, so I wanted to, I was thinking about selling Lily and then I was kind of like, you know, I have a lot invested into Lily um, time-wise, really time-wise, I mean materials too, but I wanted, and then she's a special baby, you know, she's my version of an albino um, baby that I created and I wanted her to go to someone who was really going to value that and putting her on eBay would be kind of hard to know where she's going and um, if that person truly admires her art that I did for her so I thought about it and I decided that I wanted to do uh, I wanted to give her away and I wanted to give her away to someone that I knew was going to be smitten over her so um, I asked Chenza Art Dolls, or Chenza Dolls, if she would like to have her. And um, Chenza's kind of hard to give gifts to at first, I'll just tell you that much. But Chenza did say that she would love to take her, that it would just be a dream come true and such. And um, now I'm officially ready to send her off to Chenza. So that is where she's going. And if you guys want to, you know, still see Lily, I would subscribe to Chenza's channel. I'm sure Chenza will share videos of her with you guys. Um, she's, you know, Chenza knows that she's well liked on my channel and Chenza really likes her a lot as well. So without further ado, let's get to the box packing video. So I um, created my COA thing with my paper that I have and this one like I really liked this paper for Chenza because it said uh, you are magical here and um, someone that creates the type of artwork that she does it takes a really magical person and a magical person to kind of put up with the BS that comes along with it and then it's make your own magic so all of her dolls are her own magic because um, I just don't know anyone else that could make what she does but so I thought this paper fit really well um, for her so that is the COA and then um, I'm sending home a few sets of Honest diapers because I don't know if she can get these in Canada, but whatever. I'm sending those home. Now the one thing that I really like about Lily and all of my babies that um, have like genetic just abnormalities and stuff, I always love to dress them fancy. And so um, Lily's going home in this outfit that I really love on her with her silvery shoes and these socks I love these socks and they're some of my favorite socks and I don't yeah I never let anybody borrow them but I'm gonna give them to you because I think that they go really well with uh, Lily's style so please don't lose them <laughs> but um, I'm also sitting her with I love neon colors with her albino skin it's just perfect like anything neon is perfect for her so I'm sitting here with this neon um, three-piece Carter set and then this neon sailor dress as well, which I think is super adorable. It's like neon colors, it's not all neon. Um, this duck sleeper, because it's like got the yellow and with her skin tone, I think it's really awesome combination. And then this dress, which I had bought for um, Baby Chris to wear at the doll show, but I decided that she's not going to wear this at the doll show. And it's just Lily style. It's super fancy and it matches perfect with her glittery shoes. So I'm sitting that with her um, as well. So I hope you like that stuff. Oh, here's the bloomers that go with the dress. I was in my mind thinking, where are the bloomers that go with the dress? I was like, great, I lost them. So yes. So we're going to just go ahead and... Um, get her wrapped up.
Okay, now we're ready to send Lily, to wrap Lily off. I'll tell you what, wrapping all those gifts takes so much time. So much time. We'll just get her bundled up here. And I have the wrapping paper to wrap her in as well. And then I'm hoping she fits in the box. The boxes I use, they're really just like big enough for the dolls and like an outfit extra. So when I try to send extra things, it ends up getting all crammed kind of, or like I don't, I'm not able to wrap them because the wrapping paper, believe it or not, it actually takes up a lot of room because it's not like super tight around the dolls. So it just takes up even more room. So um, I'm gonna turn you guys over here so we can see what's going on. We're gonna put her in this box. Um, I'm gonna put the COA, I don't know, I'm gonna put the COA next to her. Okay, I think we're gonna have plenty of room actually. So the COA right there and all her little goodies. Um, on top of her. Okay, I have just a few more, so hopefully they fit. Yes, they fit. Oh my gosh, perfect. Okay, so that is um her box packing, and I can't wait for Chinza to get her. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to In Love with Reborns 2011. You know, click that notification button, turn on the bell, don't ever miss a video, like this video, share it with your friends. Did you do it?